Okay, I've got a project here. So this is a Nissan Altima Coupe. Love these cars. This one I've worked on before and it's got three stripped bolts that are holding on this cover. So uh, in the past I had to break it in order to get under there and change the spark plugs. Um, now I need to get the whole thing off because I am going to replace the valve cover, which is under here. Well, there goes that. So we got a new cover for this to replace this broken one. But in order to replace it, I'm gonna have to remove these three screws. And as I said, they're stripped. You can see they used to be Allen bolts, but those Allen bolt holes are just round holes because someone tried to um, get them out. I'm guessing they used too small of a wrench and it just stripped the holes. So here's what I'm going to try. This is a stud extractor and what it does, it tightens down on these rounded bolts or you know if the head gets broken off you tighten it down on the actual post that's left and you screw it down really tight and then supposedly it will grip enough where you can just use a regular ratchet wrench to um to get it out so i'm gonna go ahead and read the instructions i'll give it a try and we'll see how it goes All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at how this works. Um, you can see there are three little prongs with teeth on them in there that get tighter as you tighten it down. So that just goes right on top of there. Now, turning it clockwise opens up those teeth. So to tighten it down, you turn it counterclockwise and there it is gripping a little tight now so next step is to use my uh, socket wrench go ahead and fit it in there I'm gonna have to use an adapter so I can use my my longest heavy heavy duty wrench <laughs> and uh, I'll go ahead and continue to twist that counterclockwise and it should get tighter and tighter until finally it's enough to break the grip of that bolt under there and just screw it right out normally. So I'll go ahead and see if that works. All right, so here it goes. Let's go ahead and put that on there. And <laughs> actually, it looks like it's already done. I was trying to tighten it down so I get a good grip and it looks like I just went ahead and got it right out. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna have to break off the rest of this housing and then I'll do it on these other two and then I'll get to work. So far, so good. All right, so had to use my big screwdriver as a pry bar to go ahead and break off that cover. And there's a bunch of the pieces there. So now these two bolts are exposed and let's go ahead and give this DeWill bolt extractor another try on these two. Okay, so I've screwed it counterclockwise and that opens it up. Now, counterclockwise and that tightens it down. And now, I'm just gonna use my socket wrench again.
There you go, easy peasy. It comes right out. And there it is. All right, so uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and get that last one out. Unless there's another issue, um, I won't film that. You've already seen two of them. So, uh, what's my review of this DeWill bolt extractor? Well, at least on these little screws that I couldn't find a way to get out any other way, this worked perfectly. All right, thanks for watching.